Hi, this is Simon Lemieux and I will be presenting my R.S. Henneke's collection of the date of August the 3rd, 2020, entitled Small Bowel Obstruction Caused by an Interlith. This is a 63-year-old man that presented to the emergency department due to recent onset of abdominal pain, bloating, and vomiting. The images of the figure set number one show IV contrast enhanced CT through the pelvis of prominent diffuse small bowel diverticulosis of the duodenum and the jejunum. Axial, coronal, and sagittal images of a contrast enhanced CT scan show focal fat stranding adjacent to a jejunal diverticulum. The walls of the diverticulum are also thickened and show increased enhancement. A small amount of free fluid is noted adjacent to hepatic segment 6. Eight days later, axial IV contrast enhanced CT images through the abdomen show dilated jejunal loops with diverticulosis. The stomach is distended with an air fluid level, whereas the small bowel outer wall diameter reaches 5.4 cm in the jejunum. The white arrows show an enterolith on axial, coronal, and sagittal CD scan images through the abdomen, which is causing the small bowel obstruction. The enterolith has a calcified wall and contains peripheral nitrogen gas. This is a gross specimen image of the enterolith following surgery on the patient. The final diagnosis is small bowel obstruction caused by an enterolith. The reason for that is the presence of small bowel diverticulosis, which can lead to the development of an enterolith in one of the diverticula. In our case, the patient presented with an initial case of jejunal diverticulitis, which caused the enterolith to migrate into the small bowel lumen, thus causing the small bowel obstruction. The enterolith had key features such as calcified out, outer margin and internal fecalized material. The top differential diagnosis is gallstone ileus. Indeed, the enterolith can resemble a gallstone from a gallstone ileus with similar findings on CT at the site of obstruction. However, the absence of memobilia and of a cholecystenteric fistula are inconsistent with this diagnosis. Moreover, the patient had prior cholecystectomy, which essentially excludes the diagnosis of gallstone ileus. The take-home messages for the current case are number one, small bowel diverticulosis is a rare condition, but can lead to stone and calculus formation, which are called enteroliths. Number two, and a typical presentation of small bowel diverticulosis is by obstruction caused by the enterolith when ejected from its diverticulum. And number three, CT scan is the best way to identify the small bowel diverticulosis, the enterolith, and the small bowel obstruction which compose this rare entity. Thank you very much for your attention.